uh, on the final bit, I uh, slam my glaive down as I do the uh, end lights up <laughs> and activate the weapon. Nice. Damn! So many cool references right now. Yeah, yeah, cool. Woo! I saw from my sister. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, in the distance. Yeah! 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 Hey! Debra! Debra! I love you. Debra! 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 Well, I can't so hear you. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Is... I cast sending. <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. So they've all collected together in a group. Uh, yeah. In a tight group. I, I don't have anything I can do to them anyway. But I, it's just it's just interesting. And is she, but is she, yeah. but I can see the captain. Yeah, you can see the captain. She's actually on the middle of the deck right now. It's actually okay. by the, the main mast. Uh, right. And the druid is not that far away from her. I have my cloak. I pull out my wand of magic missile. And I shoot. I use a single charge on her, and then an additional six charges. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, because I'm like, well, that's not gonna do it. <laughs> uh, I'm not like, I can die already. <laughs> it's really pretty bad. Abraka, fuck you! <laughs> it, it, it's, it's like ketchup, like. <laughs> <laughs> now, what does magic missile? How does that work again? Uh, one d four plus one for for every single one. Yeah, I'm just gonna borrow some of these. Yes. But okay, it's three. One charge is right, three, three, and then, and then an additional uh, one arrow. For, yeah, so that's nine. Yeah. Is it four? Yeah, ninety four plus nine. Yeah, it must be. Come on, don't fuck me. Ooh, that's a lot of fours, baby! Uh, just a sec. Uh, that's... Uh, uh, and that is an additional 11. Plus another 2. So, so there's a bit of quick multiplication. 26 plus another 9 is a 35. 35? Yeah, I do 35 points of force damage. Jesus Christ. I do have to roll a d20 though to see if that breaks my magic, my, my, my wand of magic missiles. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Isn't it all that would a natural one? No. <laughs> Just been really depressing. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Edward, no! <laughs> Meltdown! <laughs> Meltdown! <laughs> Is she still okay? Uh, you believe you might have blood in her, i.e. you put her to half health. Just oh, okay, to half health. Yeah, she had she had been fully healed, healed <laughs> and then you just she fully healed. I'm just like I guess I didn't do that much damage to her. I'm dealing with her. Yeah, we had done like you well, know, darling, wonderful. <laughs> All right, I stand by it. Yeah, nice. <laughs> That's and the, don't do it again. And don't do it again. I, I just meant just you see the, the druid is like warming her hands, getting ready for another kill. Them, so. yeah. That's the end of my turn. Yeah, it's your turn. Alright, so I just need to know how far would I have to move to get out of this uh, lightning storm? Give me a perception check, just a... Uh... One. You have no All idea. Right. Because I know that my tiny legs won't get me very far, I'll use my bonus action to transform into a deer and move... Anyway, I'll, I'll transform into a deer with my bonus action and... Do you want to fly over to the other ship? That's... Uh, that with the druid attacking? Probably just get me killed on the close range at the moment. It also transform into a bear that has more hit points. That's right, that's actually true. Do whatever you want, man. Mm, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll transform, transform into a brown bear and move 40 feet uh, away from where the uh, where I was hit by his lightning. That's, co- that's copyrighted, man. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, no, you see, just right over. Moves an eyebrow like, oh. How far are the other ship? At this point, uh, you are starting to approach it. Uh, essentially, leaving behind the, the, the other ship. So you are about 130 feet at this point. Again, you're starting to get gain speed, but you're going to slow down again. Right. But then it wouldn't really do me much to stay in this one ship. Did I leave the uh, cloud of uh, the cloud, the uh, storm? Again, with a one, you don't know. But when you're wild ship, you can spend a bonus action to kill yourself. Burning stuff. Well, do you actually have the ability to 
as called out in your soul? Nope. Yeah, well, I, I do have a spell, but I don't have oh. to memorize it. In that, in that case, I will say you can roll with advantage, because this is a spell you have access to. You just uh, have to. Well, you don't have plus Perception. Right. So that would be twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. You know that you know that uh, essentially, as you look up, you can see there is this cylinder of where the air current is moving around, creating right. this storm, and that's about a sixty-foot radius. So I'm still within the. Uh... Yep. All right. Then I stay in the bear form and do nothing else. Okay. Cool. Ah. Oh, bear. Yeah. Cool. And I guess. Uh, Whereas the mask is just going to stay. Um, oh, but can you can you can you really fly? How far can you move the moonbeam? Uh, sixty feet. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, sixty feet. Is that free action or the bonus action? But I use oh. bonus action to bear. Okay. Can you upgrade the thing so you do on bonus action to full action? What do you mean? Uh, actually, in his wild shape, you would be able to use it as an action. You just do, as a feature, you have that you can use a bonus action because of your oh, yeah, subclass. Yeah, Oh, so I can use my um, so I yeah, move okay, that's 60 feet. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I'll look at that towards the other ship. And then that's what happens. And is that not a reach on how far you can actually move the moon from being? Uh, the range is 200, uh, sorry, uh, 120 feet. So I, I guess as long as it's within. Yeah, again, and uh, two ships are moving. To, yeah, so it uh, would be possible. Yeah. So I mean, if, if it moves closer to within 120 feet, I'll be able to move it there. Cool, 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 cool. Yes. My turn. Shoot him down. I'm tired of looking at him. The captain says. Me? For me? For me? No. Just for me, me sir. Me, <laughs> sir. I know, I really want to. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> That's gonna be a 20 on the against AC on the one of the bow attacks. Yeah, I'm. Do I just use my last? Yeah, I do. I use shield again. Okay, we lost that roll, another 20 in total, so that's two hours for your uh, deflect. That's my last first level spell then, that's okay. And the final one will be 21 against AC. That doesn't hit. And you see that the ballistas are once again. And yeah, that's the crew of the, the crow fall. Do our people fire? Uh, ah! As they've just got the cannon on the side of the ship right now, mm. now they need to aim it as well. The ballistas? What? And the ballistas? Oh, the ballistas, right. Um, but we have one that could hit two times. There are two uh, ballistas mm. on your ship. Actually, they are three, but uh, so far only two of them have been bad. Yeah, I would, mm. not, I would assume only two of them could even hit. Yeah, the third one had to cross <laughs> the death to do that. So they're off work, so these two could fire, but this one would have to um, like, yeah. shoot through a mast. Okay, yeah. at least one of them hits the ship, then we're just gonna see what happens. Yes, you actually see the druid looks up in horror, her fingers still attuned to casting the spell of uh, the f- uh, cold lightning. Mm. And then she looks up at something that grows bigger and bigger, and suddenly her, her whole abdomen is just impaled. <laughs> Jeez. Doctor, heal thyself. <laughs> we can reuse that one. Yeah. Blood stains are pretty easy to get out. If you bend it, you buy it. <laughs> Actually, that would probably have been uh, Ninsunu and Zadri uh, mounting because uh, Quop uh, and, uh, and Rodri were ha- helping with the cannon. Oh. What was the guy who was in? Uh, one was, but he ha- has been healed yeah, by yeah, Quop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, and Crop was probably going to heal you, but then you transformed into a bear. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. uh, because I don't believe he can actually heal you. In yeah, that if you're healing around, well, if you could, but I'm, I'm at full HP. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. but oh, yeah, it's something you like you're, you're can healing, use your uh, healing sphere of lightning, yeah. right? With healing lightning. Oh yeah, that, that, that was that was just really. I, I don't know. I don't think I can use you. I think no, I have only. Really, it's a later ability where you can mm. use spell slots in your beast form to. Yeah, heal I can do that now. Uh, yeah, cool. So there's no, no druids anymore. And I well, just right, one, druid. one druid. And also Rodri. Yeah. Rodri the Bowser druid. Yeah. A bit of a baby and druid. You can actually see Rodri because the captain of the other ship is starting to get into it. Like, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. I suggest that you stay silent. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Where's this off sleep. button on this one? <laughs> Snooze. <laughs> I cast sleep. 
the... Uh, how far are we from everything? Uh, at this point, you are probably about 100 feet. Cool. Um, I, uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I crawl up on the, uh, on the tip of our ship. <laughs> and then... Just the tip, baby! <laughs> and as I throw it, it, uh, yeah, turns turn into a bolt of lightning, which travels across and goes right at the captain. Ooh. Is there anyone between me and the captain? Kill you're, stand, you're standing in a circle of uh, soldiers, right? Mm, yeah, there'll probably be... Th- there'll just, be just, two, just, there'll be two uh, archers and one cannoneer. Uh, essentially, between her and uh, and you. Really, that many? Again, there were six uh, archers standing. Yeah, it, it's a straight, straight line. Yeah, so, and, oh. and and the cannon, uh, one of the ballistas are in the front as well. Okay, cool. Uh, well, they only make a uh, saving throw. Uh, those three. But not success on the other two. Do I hit her on a twenty-two? Yeah, that cool. hits. Then, but it's a magical though. It is. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be magical, yo. Uh, remember your D6s? Mm-hmm. If she's like aware of something, wouldn't she just love moonbeams? Uh, yeah. um, she, she would hate that <laughs> because she would turn off her uh, So each of these soldiers, or well, the guys who get hit, will take 14 points of damage. Half if they. Uh... Yeah, okay, so th- that's only the cannon here. Oh, this one here? Yeah. Yes. And yeah, it's the list here. <laughs> What's the state of our ship? Uh, actually, it's not bad. It's only uh, one. Uh, uh, Cannon or an incendiary uh, cannonball is hit you, and one uh, of these uh, ballistas. The rest of them are just fire. Have, have our people been working and putting out the fire? Yeah. Cool. Was well, I have to? Yeah, I was going to just say, do you have your hands? Essentially, you're seeing Seatri, who is a chromatic in the sense, so she's like. Ninjuno, like, and <laughs> it, it, the, actual, the fact that Ninjuno only now acts is because she's been busy making s'mores. So. <laughs> Couple things. I have some spells I'm gonna cast as a reaction to hitting her. If you kill her, I'm gonna kill her probably. I'll be very upset. You have a book down? Uh, sorry, sorry about this. I'm doing a little book diving. Uh, this is the wrong book. I'm diving what into. are you looking? What are you looking for? Looking for spells. I'm looking for Sets. smite. Uh, I guess searing or thunderous smite. One of those two? Yeah. Do, would you prefer thunderous, thematically speaking? Yeah, it makes more sense. Oh yeah, this, this is I'm going full ACD in this one. Okay, so she takes what I say, fourteen yeah. damage plus okay, thunderous man. Yeah, two d six plus eleven. So twenty five. And then it's one more if I two d six thunder damage. Yeah. If you cast thunderous man at first level. Yeah, and then it's one more if I do it at second level, right? No. Okay, not do that? There is no, no, there's it's, nothing further to gain from Branding Smite. Searing Smite? Branding. Branding Smite? Well, then we have to go back to the bees, babies. Bibi, bee, bidi, bidi, boo. Bibi, bidi, boo, bidi, boo. Oh, no, I actually have that ability. I can just do that. But, you know, like. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah the one where you spend spell starts. Yeah. yeah. That seems like that would be much smite. easier. <laughs> uh, brand. Oh, sorry, I went past it. I'm not. Oh, there was kind of. Yeah, yeah Branding Smite has the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm gonna burn a second little spell to hit No, it. that's not true. You can do more damage with Branding Smite. How much? Two DC, oh, another D6. No. no, I'm just gonna roll 3D8 instead. Yo, yeah, of course. I'm just gonna be cooler, you know. Right. And she Ooh. takes 15 points of radiant damage on top of that. So, a total of 40 points. <sighs> yeah. Don't touch my bird. That's very disappointing. I mean, I guess she's dead, I suppose. Is there still people on board? Yeah, but they seem to do the same thing as the other crew as soon as they seem that the leader just incinerated oh, okay. enough so easier to get now? Uh, if you want to kill them, yes. <laughs> Slim pickets, man. Don't kill prisoners! Sorry, what?! Anastasia, fly to the ship. <laughs> Anastasia. Anastasia. <laughs> can't hear you over the stabbing. Sorry. All right, okay. no, I, I tell Anastasia, fly to the fly to the crow's nest or whatever. The, no, not the crow's nest, but fly to the, the crow's, crow's nest. nest. Yeah. No, fly to the crow's ship. <laughs> and I just and I just land and I just saw these guys have just something like... <laughs> Ooh! Basically taking her magic item back. These are mine now. <laughs> no. you, 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 you go around and like, like, land them all, kick each of them and shit. No, I don't do that. That's pathetic. I'm just like, I'm, with the ones we're still like, I just, I kind of 
Mm. I don't hit him. It's like... <sighs> when you leave to take your scarf, I... <laughs> you know what? No, I have seven strength. I am a, I'm a punch a bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna punch this bitch. I got a attack roll. Sure. <laughs> this will be fun. <laughs> you broke, you broke, you broke. Yeah. Six. <laughs> Wait, am I proficient in hand-to-hand combat? Yeah, uh, uh, on our strikes, all, all Six! No, I, uh, that would be then, that would be nine. And they just changed their mind about surrendering. Yeah! <laughs> you try to stab him on his face and you hit him on the pauldron on his shoulder. Yeah, good. God damn it! Well, we won, so... Suck it, boys. Yeah. Congratulations, I guess. Thanks. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> you, you look for a job. <laughs> My name? Uh, that would be uh, Open. Oven? Open. O B A N. That is simple and easy to remember, Open. <laughs> we'll see if you remember that next session. <laughs> Coincidentally enough, we have an open position. <laughs> um. Oh boy. Yeah, so, yeah, how many... Am I captain? <laughs> how, I'm ma- captain no. how many of these people are on, on board? Like, how many sur- have surrendered on, on this ship? On the, a crow fold, there's about six archers, two uh, siege masters. That's eight people? Yeah, eight people are about now. All right, guys. Yeah, I got some shitty manacles for you. <laughs> Line up. Line up. You have Line to share. <laughs> Do we even have a, uh, a brig? Uh, yeah. You probably could do something with the, the lower decks. Nope, mm-hmm. oh, no, I don't have manacles, I have monocles. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> monocles? Monocles. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and they all have a chain. I just thought it was money and manacles. Monocles! Nope, so I, have, I think I have one set of manacles and I just put it on an oven. <laughs> there you go. Yay. And then, I have, and then there's a t- connected chain to it. Yay! And I put a. May I get the key as well? I, no, and I connect the. I connect that chain to a cannon! And I start <laughs> pushing that cannon <laughs> So you'll go over to your own ship? Yes! 100 feet away. I connect that chain to Anastasia. <laughs> <laughs> no! I don't do this, I'm just. Oven. <sighs> This day has been quite disappointing to me. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can relate. Yeah, I'm on my spring break right now. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, wait, what? That doesn't. Uh, where do you like? Do you study somewhere? No, you you killed my aunt. Well, I didn't. Oh, I don't mean you per se. I mean you. As well, I wish I had. So. Hey, hey, no, again, I didn't like it. That's fine. Oh. Okay. So we 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 gather we gather all three ships together. Yeah, we gather all the what's it called the, the pirates we captured. Yeah, the the ball strike, the yeah. crow fall, and then your own ship, yeah. the sky no man. We we um, I get what's the name of the cleric on our side? Uh, on your sh- uh, side, that would be Quap. And anyone else who can cast healing spells if they well, want we to. We have the doctor. Uh, yeah, you have uh, you have the yeah. forced uh, name talent. I okay. also have this anyone, potion. Anyone who can help with healing to heal any of the pirates who are injured, and of course, any of our soldiers who are injured as yeah. well. And then, um. And soon starts to go around, lay on hands. Hey, uh, Oven, uh, I have a healing potion here for you. R- really? Yeah, I don't worry about the brown taste. No, well, <laughs> and, uh, oh, was so, okay, it first? Yeah, drink up. Bark skin. Drink up. No, 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 no the bark skin. The yeah, one I made. Um, oh, okay, no, no, no. Drink up. Oh, no, that's ash. No, no, no. No, oh. come on. Come on down with it. It's good for you. I, I wish we had a city called Jimmy and then we called that. Yeah, no, <laughs> there's no such place. <laughs> How many? Also, we're under. Sc- uh, sorry, what I, what I wanted to say um, was. There will be about, about four uh, captains. No, uh, captains. Oh. About four <laughs> captains. <laughs> no, four pirates on the ball strike and the six people. Uh, no, eight. Eight. eight, eight, eight so, 12. Okay. Great. Um, also, uh, it wouldn't count here because we're under Sky- Skyrim time law. <laughs> <laughs> um. So okay. how did that taste? This is important. Sorry, just to say. We'll get to your thing. How did that taste? Uh, like chicken, but like uh, f- as if somebody has sat on it. Okay. Was... okay. And how, do you feel better? I guess I, I wasn't really hurt before. Now I just feel like... Alright. Here's a, here's a pencil and some paper. Write <laughs> down any side effects that you might feel from this. And then give that to me in a, in a few days, okay? Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh god, I think I've got this next year. <laughs> oh. That's a bit depressing. <laughs> well, just remember them then, and then tell me when I ask you. Okay, sorry, let's go to your thing. 
So I guess you're uh, going to do go around and make sure. Do you guys mind if I kind of do the prison process thing? Well, actually, I have something else. Oh, yeah. um, uh, I'll uh, get out of the bear form. I'll approach our captain. Mm-hmm. I'll just be like, uh, Captain, so, um, do you send someone over to recover their ammunition and their cargo? Yeah, certainly. I'll, I'll have a buffer that going into it. Very well. Um, and he's basically the boatman. Yeah, that's, that's it actually. The, yeah. the ammo for yeah. the uh, cannon and for mm-hmm. ballistas, so we can so replenish good. our used ammunition. Yeah, very good. Idea. Very clever. Quick thing. You can just do the prisoners. So yeah, let's do this. Um, so yeah, we can we manage dealing with the prisoners who need it, and then um, bring them all down to the dining hall. Yeah. Sit down at the table and like lay out a dinner. I sit at the head of the table and then say, "Well, all right." My name is Davri Apachambuka of the Church of Falaga, and you are currently under my protection. Uh, yes, you are currently prisoners. But I swear that uh, once we get back to Soka, I will do my best to see that you are given a fair trial, and if you're found innocent, to help you on with your lives. Uh, I would need to speak with the captain of the uh, uh, There's no captain anymore. Both, uh, oh, right, oh, the board right. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 yeah, the captain of the board stride. Uh, um, and if anyone has any information like pertinent to your organization, please uh, come speak with me about it, and I will um, I reward any relevant information. It's about this time that the door to the dining room opens, yeah. and you see this uh, yellow-robed monk with, with a shaggy bed. Uh, no, uh, Andy uh, walks in like... Andy! He's like, turning his eyes like, so what, what happened? Andy, you sleepy bitch. What? Hey, I, I was meditating. Yeah, that's what I call it as well. <laughs> but you do notice he has a bit of red eyes, in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to have to check that out later. Um, if you don't, does you don't have any questions at the moment? Maybe the pipes look at each other like... Then you will be uh, kept in a... Uh, we have set up a break, break where you will be kept until we arrive back to Silkai. Yay! Oh, but says in the distance. Um, Fuck you, Arvin. You will, uh, what's it called? You call on some people, have them escort the pirates out, so, except for yeah. Uh, yeah, essentially the captain. Good job, good copying them. Now it's my turn. Here's a rock. There's 12 of you, <laughs> when I come back, there should only be 10 of you. <laughs> now is the time that you fight for our entertainment! And so uh, uh, the head of security, i.e., Crop, uh, Arad, and Rodri, are then. They're dragging the people out. They're probably led down to the lower decks nearby to, I imagine, the stables or something like that. We see to it that they're given yeah. the proper... Uh, Again, they're all given bed rolls and something yeah. to support. Okay. And only the, the captain, Captain Kojo, is still left. Yeah. May I call you Captain Kojo? Well, there's some name I have, so yeah. We need to know anything you know about the organization we work for. And you can see his, like, his head browns, it's like, do you mean, like, crew I work for is it is even as, as as soon as you get it on a word like organization which is more than two syllables he has a hard time like what does that mean again who is your boss mm. oh that would be Captain Richman of what ship of Dormantide this was this is a bad ship right one. yeah, yeah. Well, um hi Eos here friend of the show um wait that doesn't make sense <laughs> it's late what is the Omentide describe it if this big fortress that is in the sky, I guess this is what to describe it. has a beak. Yes, sir. That, that serves as a hangar. How many men? Well, it's been a time since I've been there, so I guess it's like a crew of 60, maybe 80 people. Can you tell us where? I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you'll have us roll if we're in any point field. Yeah, city again, city again if, if anything uh, comes yeah. up, uh, it's uh, near the town of uh, Rambon. Hmm. Okay. So he is um what's it called? Uh so is it is it on so so but so the yeah, it's still within the, M- uh, the Empire. The uh, Empire, right? Yeah, okay. That was the last time you were there. Or the last report you received? The last report I received, that's only a week ago or something like that. How often do you have to make contact with them? Uh, we never make contact, they contact us. Do How you know who it is? How often does that happen? Uh, two weeks. How do they contact you? Uh, differs sometimes through, through spells, sometimes they send this weird creature, lobby thing, to us. Mm, maybe. 
Um, you could trap the signal. <laughs> no, way, that no make but, any sense. but um, it has like a beak. A bird. No. Again, just you know, just you said a flying creature that has a yeah, no, like bird. A, like a blob with a beak. Yeah, like a bird. Like a fat bird. But but these you know strings down on the. You're describing a bird with legs, man. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. It might be a bird. I have never seen a bird like that. Our ultimate mission is to destroy the omen. Yeah, the omen type. To, to, to neutralize it. Neutralize it. Okay. How many ships does uh, Captain Richmond? Uh, Captain Richmond, uh, he, well, I guess we have 12 in total. But only uh, only four of us are right now in the, in Novenia, which is the last continent. Yeah, which yeah. the Empire is located in. Hmm. The rest is uh, back in, um, you know, Hobgoblin Nation, um, like deserts. Um, Caracas. Right, right, right. Yeah. Caracas, hmm. yeah. Of course, I talked to me. When did you come here? Here? Hey? How, long, uh, how uh, long have you been operating in this area? I. How long have I? Wait, what again? Because the war only just broke out. Can someone do an arcana check to see if something magical going on with them? Yeah, certainly. Can someone not meet an arcana check to see if something magical going on with them? <laughs> oh! Oh, uh, tell me your secrets! <laughs> I, sort of, I sort of go out to him, sort of look him in the eyes, yeah. kind of open his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> can I shake him a bit? <laughs> Does, Try, does, guess, does magic yeah. fall out of him? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, can um, I roll <laughs> something? Yeah, but again, can I like, check, check you for magic? Try, again, because we are connected to the weave of magic, so you would be able to sense if there's anything. Like that. Yeah, I'm going to check my weave. <laughs> and I'm looming. 19. Uh, again, you have seen magic affect the mind. But it's hard to say if magic is mm. the cause of this or this is you know, after effect of something, hard to say. Ah. Do we read anything else? I think room? this man's an idiot. But well, we could. What? We could. Uh, no, I'm, not a, I'm not. I, we could actually I'm not an idiot. Test it. Oh, we could ask, ask his crew how he uses the caves. Without him being pleasant. I've, I've already established a rapport with one of the crew members. Do we have His any name's Oven. If, 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 they open. <laughs> if they normally see him as a cunning and intelligent captain, then something is wrong with him now. Um, do we have any other questions from now? I have no questions. Nah, I'm good. Thank you for now, Captain. You will be kept in a separate cell from your room. If you have from your men, do you have any questions? Uh, oh, actually, the guard I post, I do you have a quick question, actually. Um, who would be, of the remaining members of your crew, who would be the second in command? Um, that, that would be the first mate. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Um, he, 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 he is a parrot. Oh, so oh, he's, he's dead. dead. He's very dead, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh. What was his name? <laughs> Just kidding, I don't care. Hey, Um. um Alright. Uh, otherwise, you could talk to. Could try to talk to a task ball. He might know something. Task ball. Hey. Yeah. If you have any questions, ask the guard post actually to the door and I'll come, come back to visit you later. Okay. And you, you do realize task ball is a common bug bear name, and you mm-hmm. didn't notice there was only one bug bear aboard the, the ship. Mm-hmm. It's like when they're called Muhammad. Great bugbears. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, character. Okay. Um, let's add in ta- Tazbo. I want to bring Oven up here. <laughs> oven. Yeah. Mm, so it's I'm pretty sure I decide what he's called <laughs> now. <laughs> oven. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Oven. Yeah. Hi. Get no. No. Get 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 out of get in here. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. We need to. We need. To, we have a few questions for you. Cool, cool, cool. Yep. What can you tell us of your captain? Um, your aunt. She's my. She was, was my dead. mother's sister. Yeah. Bit of a bitch. This is not from the right crew. No, I. No, I no, no, this, no, is, this, no, other, this is the other. This is the other ship. Okay. Has she, oh, has she been acting recently? Uh, has she been acting strange recently? The woman was aware of you. You are aware of that. That's. 
How weird is that? It's How rare is... Because I feel like we, we have a rare person on our own crew, and we've met them before as well. Uh, again, we met a rare rat once as like, well? I remember yeah, well, that right. As a, they do have, they, you do encounter them in the wild, so to speak, but it's not a common occurrence, um, because they are often quickly cut down, essentially, because oh. they tend to cause a lot of problem in the area they are in. Yes, I mean. But then again, there are also the problems whole, in my area. The whole shifter race was essentially descendants of lycanthropes, so. Okay. Um, but a rare crow, that's the first time you've heard of that. Okay. Oban, who was this, who was, who would be the, who would be the leader of your crew now that you aren't dead? Would that be you? Well, in terms of just pure relations, yes, I guess, but <laughs> I don't think the other crew members like me that much. Oh, okay. I mean, I can't, I can't imagine why. But, uh, oh yeah, because you're just a pleasant guy. Hey, now, I, we won that last battle, so you have to be nice to <laughs> hey, me. Hey. <laughs> By the rules of combat. As per the Geneva Convention, you now have to treat me nicely. And I can yeah, treat you. You have to be my friend. You have to be my friend, Oven. You know? <laughs> you now, poisoned me and you called me by the wrong name. You didn't poison me. How are you feeling, by the way? <laughs> like my tongue is on fire. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, okay. Side effect, tongue on fire. Uh, do tell me if anything else lights up fire in your body. Or oh, actually just generally. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> tongue on fire. Oh, so carry on. <laughs> um, but what were your orders to the best dream launch? Again, from what I, I've been told, we were told to scout the area, shoot out anyone who might come across us. We were to provide uh, attacks from the distance while the other ship, the, the, I don't know, the pig faces, sailed closer and then shot them down. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you know what the um, the big fortress ship is? Yeah, can you, tell, can you tell us anything about the Omen? Which oh, side? Oh, the side? Omen side, yeah. Ever been there? Oh, they talked a lot about that ship. Mm-hmm. Right, what? What do they say specifically? Like it has a beak. Okay. And Anything else? The power is really large, like large enough to snap an airship out of the sky. Okay. You ever been there? You're, you've never been there? No, no, I can. Th- uh, this is my first time ever on an airship. Right, alright, it's a spring time. break, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So you wouldn't have a beer or anything like this? So no! Right. No! You. We have. We do have this bottle of wine, would you like that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Okay, here you go. Now know. we're friends. <laughs> now you owe me. Bang yourself. Oh God! Have you poisoned this or something like? That? No. No. <laughs> no. It's yourself. But do sh- remember to share it with your little friend. Yeah, I totally will. Mm-hmm. He's gonna get so beat up. <laughs> I always matter. Do we need to speak to the other sh- crew? Or I, I, I don't think we're doing any kind of magic. I think we're just dealing with it. Well, the just to figure out what the captain is acting differently. Yeah. Good question. Bring in the... the yeah, the bugbear. Yeah, the bugbear. Sure the bugbear. Also, remember, we need, to, we need to leave the other crew with the oven so that they will beat the shit out of him when they think that he's been collaborating with us because <laughs> we gave him wine. <laughs> um, oh, God. Yeah. Salutations, sir. Uh, Name is Taskball. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, allow me, yes. I have to correct my monocle here. Yes? Um, we were wondering if anything has, if your captain's been acting weird recently, strange recently. Oh, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, he's been a bit, a bit loose in the casket, if I must say so. Yes. Since? Well, that must have been two months ago, uh, just as we signed an alliance. Since you signed an alliance with. Oh, I'm not really supposed to say. Please, I hope we can be friends. This will certainly help you if we do need to make you. Okay, if you put in a good word to the Empire, uh, I like my head, especially when it's attached to the rest of my body. We will tell them that you have a very nice head that they probably would like to keep. Awesome, let's go. Here's the situation. Uh, we came across uh, a small gathering of this folk in uh, Jawfield, uh, at the outskirts of Jawfield, and uh, they... They were worshipping a dragon. And, well, one thing that turned out that we apparently had some common goals, or at least our captain, that's what the true captain, Captain Richmond, had some goals uh, aligned with the dragon, and so we formed an alliance. And then things have just been really odd. So, so your, your captain's been acting strangely since then? Oh, yes, the whole crew. Have you seen this dragon? 
No, no, no. Where did you encounter these things? The things? The lizard folks. Oh, uh, the, jo- uh, the coast of Jawfield. Who is that? Uh, Jawfield is down south. And again, the jungles of Jawfield, I've mentioned, that is mm. the home of Ninsuno Pinto, your paladin uh, NPC. It was also uh, ho- uh, once the homeland to a um, an forgotten nation. Uh, if you recall <gasps> you the, the city of the lost soul Amniria in the shadow film it, that was a reflection of the castle <sighs> of this oh I hate those snake so, mummy if I understand this right they were in a different country from the country that are currently at war right yeah this, is, this can be the end uh, uh, we, we are just exploring the places and finding riches where we, we go so Richmond made an alliance with a dragon yes then we were hired you said you sh- shut up oh. I have more questions. <laughs> Pardon me. Then, and you said that their their goals were aligned. What goals were those? Hmm. Funny business. Never thought about that. What? Maybe I don't know. Death and destruction to the empire. You know how the blue dragons they like to be conniving some stuff. A blue well, dragon. Yeah. Um. Oh. How did you know he was blue? Well, I gather as much seen as the lizard folk have drawn this uh, this primal blue white wing of a dragon. Okay, and so you did see the lizard folk. Yeah, the lizard folk. And they're still where are they now? Oh, they are all around the place. They are women riders, so they are probably around Omenside as this moment, I guess. Okay, and is the dragon as well located there? Mm, most likely. Okay. So I've heard there was wine up here. Yes, we will have some more brunch. We have we have no more wine. Um, we do have this beer. Do have <laughs> oh, please, I'm not a savage. Do, 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 do we have this bottle of champagne? No. Um, <laughs> what brander? Now, okay. So, no, I, I need to get. I need to. I need to. So, he, so Richmond made an alliance with the Blue Dragon, which was called as oh, a name. Um, let's see if Harper's if actually knows this. I think you should probably know this for your own health. Uh, I know the we name are not kidding, please. Uh, I, 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 only know his, I only know his, his common name. I don't know his current name. Uh, Gale Raff. Gale Raff. Yes. Gale Raff. The dragon. Yes. Okay. And then Captain. Uh, later on, Captain Richmond allied himself with the nation of Caracas I, 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 in his war against Gonroll. Gone well. Yeah. Gone well. I, I, I might believe that they hired us because we had an alliance with the dragon. And so, is so the dragon is probably possibly working with the... Certainly. And we uh, have our ship so we can scout ahead for the invading arms. Mm-hmm. Um, but also, Richmond doesn't like the Empire all that much. No. I don't think he disliked them. and just don't like them in particular. <laughs> you said something about death to the Empire, Ringer? Oh, that probably more of the Gearraths. Now, why wouldn't he like the Empire? Well, I don't know if you know this. Well, let's find out now. There's a silver dragon helping the Empress. Okay. Don't tell people that I knew. But everyone knows this. Yeah. He said to hands like blinking. Stop blinking! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, so and that, therefore he hates... I don't understand. Tell me more about dragon psychology and interracial relationships, okay? You should ask him himself again. It's not like I'm a psychiatrist and I can tell you everything he's ever told. Well, you better. <laughs> you better. Quick. <laughs> from Perhaps we should. I guess that he does like this good aligned dragon and does want to play Endrin, probably take his place, ruling in fear and tyranny. Okay. You know, the usual drill with these okay. chromatic da- dragons. Fine. Thank you for your time. So, the wine was no go. Right. Who has a brush? I don't know. I have this potion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And he walks up. Are we giving them wine? I go to uh, our captain, Riley. Oh, yeah. So, Did you uh, find out what was on board the other ships? Yeah, certainly. We, we've gathered the, the, the various items here. Um, the, we have this dagger here. Yes. And it's like this beautiful uh, ornamental dragon with like a serpent motif on the head blade of this the Damascus blade. Just, just a dagger. Oh no, it's a magic uh, weapon. Um, right. Essentially, this is uh, Wiper's Wrath. And this item, let me see what have I decided it could do. When you're struck by a melee attack, you can use your reaction to make a weapon attack against the attacker. Sorry, what are we talking about? 
Uh, the magic loot, uh, loot you found. Oh, I just magic loot? I was just uh, asking her about anything. Wait, sorry, sorry. I need to. Just, uh, so, is it a? Is it the loot? Is it as in as in like the loot as in the booty that is magical, or did we find a magic loot? <laughs> As in the <laughs> magic items you found, but they're also it's ordinary items as well. Oh, you found a loot? <laughs> in addition, once per long rest, you can use your bonus action to cause the blade to be co- and coated in poison for one minute. So is this a, is this a, the, 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 the fold-out sword, or is this the dagger? Uh, that the dagger. was the dagger. Okay. Uh, what did you call that again? Uh, uh, Viper's Wrath. I just write it here. Uh, Viper's oh. Wrath is the dagger. Yeah. And her foldy out sword... That is the flux rod. Essentially, you can, as a bonus action, transform the flux rod into any sort of weapon. Ooh. And this weapon will have a plus one enchantment to attack and damage roll. I like that dagger, though. You can have the flux rod. I wouldn't mind flux rod. If it is. And then what else? The um, then there's actually a circuit uh, known as the Horn of the Emerald Warden. I'll send you to, uh, this later because it's oh. a fair long item. Essentially, when you transform into a wild beast uh, with the wild shape feature, you grow an emerald horn. I want that. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and while it's transformed, I think you can, give it to Ron you <laughs> can do various actions. You can either, and all of them require spell slots. One right. of them allows you to cause additional damage, which you experience yourself. Yes. Yeah, it's real fun. Uh, you can expend a single uh, spell level of first level to increase your reach of the weapon with five feet, um, a ten reach of the weapon, and then you can use a parry and uh, essentially gain a plus two to your. Uh, AC. Oh, and that was the circle of uh, the horn of the Emerald Warden. The horn of the Emerald City. Don't look behind the curtain. What was the other? The flux capacity. Yeah, 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 the, the, the flux rod. Flux rod. All right. Uh, and that was the yeah. items. No, nope, we still have two more. Oh God. Uh, there is the ring of switch. The one where the <sighs> That's cool. Uh-huh. And. You you can uh, switch place with a willing creature within hundred feet, and then the ring recharges at dawn. Right. Uh, yeah. And and last thing is an, a telescope. You can see in far distances. Um, Wait, is it just what is, a what is this sorcery? <laughs> it's just a regular telescope. No, it's magical. You don't know what kind of magic because you haven't seen it in use. I shake oh. it. I shake it. Well, how is it magical? Uh, you can make it a counter roll. If you shake it, it explodes. <laughs> Eleven? Uh, probably better to attune to it. Don't know. But it is magical. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you should just, if, you, if you hang out with it for about a half an hour, you might know more. <laughs> um, you could also try to ask one of the crew members. If no. Uh, Captain, did we, they have any cargo? Or yes, uh, was it ammo? Yes, yeah, and we found some, uh, some uh, rations um, as well as some armor. Oh, armor and ammo. Um, yeah, it should be. Any? Did they have any like just like money booty? Uh, not really to say that they seem fairly lackluster. Uh, Ugh, God, these pirates! Are but bad. then again, you wouldn't really go around carrying coin if you weren't supposed to interact with the the people around you. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they were they were here to they had Scouts. were just stationed here. They yeah, weren't necessarily, okay. but they didn't um, have anything they had looted from other ships. Doesn't seem to. Um, seems like a waste. We'll, we'll also, from problem. what you could hear from the spring breaker open, uh, essentially, whenever they encountered ship, they just shut it down. They didn't loot anything. Mm. Right. So, which right. strikes us a bit okay. off for a pirate ship crew. Essentially, I like I like to now at this point um, gather the main. Characters in you know, like the you know the the, yeah. the, the recurring oh. cast uh, Aurora and Blake <laughs> return yeah PJs. <laughs> the pieces in the uh, in the in the main in a in a hall room uh, with the, there's an actual war room also oh, okay yeah we we, we collect yeah, the war room we gather in the war room uh, is it, does it have one door yeah again the war room is essentially like a closed okay magical seal so no sound I lock the door and take out my blade <laughs> no escape. That can only be one row. <laughs> um, so, guys, two things on the agenda. I just, I kind of, I open the door and I look out into the hallway. Beyond, is anyone there? No. Yeah. Close it again. Two things on the agenda. One, we have some magic items, which is nice. I think we should find some way to sort of divide these fairly. So maybe we wait until everyone's more yes. I, I mentally present. Yeah. And. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. Just you hold on to them. You have a bag of holding, or something. I just might as well. Might as well give the circlet to 
Uh, l- l- well, yeah, we, we can have the, yeah, we'll have this discussion when we get. I, I think we should wait until mm-hmm. everyone has an able to Second system. thing, we are now in possession of two additional intact, mostly airships. Yeah, the bounty on an intact airship is twenty five thousand gold pieces per ship. It will so, turn them into the empire, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I'm just saying. We have, theoretically, unless anything goes wrong, 50,000 gold pieces on the way. You should so, talk about this. A first, couple things first. One, uh, a portion of that, I believe, should go to the crew. Negative. We, have, we, we take all the money ourselves. I, no, of I, course. I, yeah, we pay, the, we pay the crew what they're owed. And 10 gold bonus. pieces each. And a bonus of an additional 10 gold pieces! I, am, I was calculating at least 250 for the standard, perhaps oh, okay, 500 okay. for the. Uh, okay, so I was actually kind of making a joke. I was giving them 1,000 gold pieces each. There's 20 of them, that'd be 20,000 gold pieces. Okay. We can, we can do the precise math later on, but if we're all in agreement that they should get a portion. How many crew? Do we have 20 crew members? I can't. Again, you have both crew Jesus. and staff. That's Can fine. we maybe hire someone who works cheaper? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, okay, like this. If we do, if we do 250 here, and then 500 for these two, then that's... Uh, what, what was it? I cut that too. Well, that'll leave 24,000 for us, right? No, no, it'll leave much more. Oh, uh, wait, what do you do? What do you do? 250? Oh, 250, not... Yeah. Oh, okay, not 2,500. Um, uh, yeah, you don't... I mean, okay. This works... As long as they don't know how much money we're actually getting paid. Well, uh, we also give a portion, I'm assuming, to refin the ship and get any weapons. Sure. Yeah. Why, why does it only work when they don't know how much we're getting Well, I, th- I think that if they know that we've been paid 50,000 gold pieces and all they end up with is 250 gold pieces, I think that might, we might stand with another mutiny. Also, we chose a... <laughs> a famous mutineer as the first mate, uh, which is the position directly below the captain. I just want to point that out. I, uh, I, I think it will be the opposite, actually. I think the fact that they are not expecting any rewards will make it good for them to get a reward. And the thing is, if anyone else, because the other people who get this sort of uh, stuff about uh, capturing airships would be at the docks. So the next time we dock, any of our crew could talk with another crew about how much an airship is worth. Yep. So we should not lie about it. No. Neris, you've spent most of your life in a forest, right? What's your point? Uh, and uh, 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 da- Dan of Danson. Sorry, Davry, you spent most of your life in a cloister? No, I'm traveling around. <laughs> All right, okay. Listen, some of us worked our way up from the bottom. Literally, but also I know, I know, no, no, but I know scum when I see it. But and this crew, you guys, <laughs> they are the, the worst. But don't you think they would be more offended if we lie to them about how much? We I'm not. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying, I'm saying we have to be careful now because 250 gold pieces is a princely sum, obviously for like boat trash. It's I'm not taking that away from them. A year's but, pay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. Uh, but. When it's held up against the 50,000 gold pieces, it don't look like much. No, but they are I'm just putting this information. This either. Yeah, yeah, listen, I am all for them kind of just, I mean, I'd love it if they just did as they were told. And if we'd hired professional kind of military trained crew members, then maybe that was something we could deal with. The captain was a former pirate. She, like... These are not... Okay, you guys are too nice. That's the problem. I'm just... It's a warning. It's a, it's a fair warning. I know people. I know these kinds of people. I don't think they'll stand for it. Let's see what happens. I just, you know, sleep with a knife under your pillow for a while is all I'm saying. Maybe lock the door. On a different note, okay. perhaps we, before we count our eggs, I was actually considering that we should be using one of these ships. We know for a fact that the Boris Strider has recently, uh, has recently docked with the strike. Yes. Omen Tide. Omen Tide. Mm-hmm. I believe we should use this to our advantage. We you want to infiltrate? Them, infiltrate the Omen Tide. Okay. Why? So we can destroy the Omen Tide. It's our ultimate goal. But that's not actually our job. 
Yeah, Our job is finding out where the omen site is. And we just did. Which also means we get paid for that one? I don't know what the pay was for that job. Yeah, you haven't discussed yet. Ugh, God, that was stupid. Anyway, I feel like that's something we could suggest to the people we report to. But I would say hog hogtailing it now to this the fortress in question would be a mistake. Obviously, okay, yeah, we could maybe destroy the fortress, which would be, you know, that'd be fine, I suppose. I'm not really sure if I'm... I mean, like, this war is a bit... Like, I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm doing this... Like, we're getting paid for this, which is great. But, yes. But, like, the, the war has broken out, and usually it takes two to tango, so I'm not really sure where I am on this one. But, anyway, if we destroy it, we won't really have any... Is there any proof that we did? That it was us? So... Like I think, I think if it's an it's an imperial imperial signed mission, then there's money in it for us. Of course, yeah. If we if it's not, if it's just us kind of going hog wild, it might be fun. Also, we'd be facing off against a, a blue dragon. No, the blue dragon wasn't there. I thought he was. You don't know. He, the, uh, the bugbear said he assumed that he was. He did, didn't he? No. He, did I not understand him? No. What he meant is that uh, the tribe, the some of these uh, women riding uh, yeah. lizard folk, yeah. um, bought the omen tide. Okay. The dragon what, uh, himself, he doesn't know where. Oh, okay, no mind then. Still, it's it's. He said there were somewhere between sixty and eighty crew members aboard this thing. We, I mean, we, we, it might work. Uh, but again, we've tr- <laughs> we've tried the whole sneaking into things before infiltration. Doesn't usually pan out. But perhaps before we uh, plan out the next move, we should just get back and complete this mm-hmm. task. No, no, agree. And, and hand over the ships. And right, the I think it's, and actually, I think that we should write something official from the House of War to the cooperation of the sailors we have captured. I was I, I was planning on doing an, uh, an individual in, in, in an interview feature, and uh, I can have a um, a, a total like a, a full understanding of who they are. Just so they that they, when they go to trial, recommendation. Yeah. Yeah, I'll so give them they, a full psyche eval. That's fine. When when they go to trial, they will have our word that they <laughs> surrendered and cooperated. Yes, because they did. Yes, we will. Uh, we'll, we'll figure out. Oh, yeah, things. I think from now on this trip home, we are very quiet about that one. No one talks about anything about any reward money for these ships. Not right. a. What's your passive word. perceptions? Piss 17. fucking poor is what it is. What? 17. 17? It's 11. I happen to know that Aurora's is very good. Yeah, yeah okay, but uh, with Naris and Aurora, you actually stop the mid conversation. You hear something, and the, the volume grows. And to know what it, you, it comes from outside, again. Uh, from outside the sky. There, there's uh, something going on. Go out. Yeah. And as you walk out, you see in the in moonlight. This weird blob, like almost shaped like a brain with a small beak. It's a bird! And small tentacles running uh, down. No, it's a and it turns bird. around and flies away. And as it does, you actually hear. <laughs> and suddenly you see six ribbon riders all headed towards the sky uh, land. And we end the session. <laughs> Thanks for listening. The intro music was by Philip Fisher, whereas the outro music was by Martin Kerr. The other pieces which are mentioned in the description down below were by Kevin McLeod and Enda Kenye. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we hope to see you again in Dorokin.